Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Tagwak ng Tahala is back, but the kids' version, okay? So, oh, nice. in the panel of judges, you have the one and only, Katrina Velarde. Yeah, she's and on. she's out here doing her thing, you know, effortless, effortlessly just showing the kids how it's supposed to go down. And this is a segment that you get well, sent to She just started singing just but randomly. Just randomly. What I think Vice f- was asking, oh, can you do this song? And then she was like, yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, Vice, you know? Vice, Vice. You know? Vice, Vice, <laughs> Vice. <laughs> What the? Mm-hmm. A cappella, bro. A cappella. You know we call those vocal chops. Yeah. We call vocal, yeah, we call vocal Damn. chops. Chaps. Look at the little girl. <laughs> kailangan ng microphone ang lakas talaga nung ano niya Buga. yung yung mic mo nga baba mo lang <laughs> tingnan natin kung maririnig pa rin natin ng ng, ng, no ng mic? Yung, yung mataas na Vice what are we doing here I swear Vice is Vice, evil bro What are we doing here What are we doing I mean like what do you mean It's already hard to say capella What is what is this What the fuck? No way, she has... <laughs> what? They either increase the shit out of that mic. Or they or, have environmental mics really close to them. Or, oh! <laughs> or she just has the most insane throats I've ever seen in my life. Most insane larynxes. That's, that's it. That's exactly... That's the, that's... And I know shining down <laughs> yeah, take away that shit. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? I'll take that from you. Yeah, <laughs> come on, send that, my brother. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Brother has to uh oh, fuck you know vice is up to it again. He's, he's back again. We're back at it again. Malinaw pa din, di ba? Yes. Damo dun sa sa booth nila direct. Go to the booth, brother. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna. Make my way up here. Nakaon pa rin yung mic. Oh, naka- May signal. Nakaon pa rin yung mic ni Ano. May signal dyan. Dam- okay. Dambo, are you there? Kaya ba nakikita pa ba natin si Dambo? Nakikita pa natin. Dambo, are you there? Ang layo kasi nga. Nasa 14th floor. Ang booth. <laughs> Oo. Oh, aabot kayo. Doon ang oh, boses ni oh. Ma'am Katrina. Di ba? Malalaman natin talaga kung aabutin si Dambo. Kaya, I swear, Filipino kasi, television is nuts. Kasi Katrina, ang galing niya mag-module. This makes no sense to me. Bro, Bro what the fuck is going girl, on over there? The little like, girl is just standing there just watching the whole thing unfold. <laughs> I, no, but I, I, I tell you, like, they, what the fuck? <laughs> this show yeah. is nuts I and know. vice, bro. Evil. <laughs> I swear, I swear, at this point, Vice Ganda just has free reign to do whatever the fuck pleases them. You know? Correct. Do it, sing, uh, hang from the 15th floor. Do it, go there. <laughs> do it. One it. hand, do pull ups and sing. <laughs> Well, at this point, he's going to get picked up by your mics, mic. mate. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Ayan, ayan, ayan. 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 Ayan.
Go Katrina, five, four, three, two. Grabe si Katrina ano? Velarde, oh no? My Poor God. fucking neighbors, man. Oh now we know God. what her neighbors go through every day. Oh my God. Actually, not bad. I- I'll take it. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, dude. She's like <laughs> a world-class hell? singer and sing. You know what I mean? Do your thing, girl. I'd much rather that than some baby crying. Oh, 100%. Or a dog barking. Yeah, like well, I'll take Katrina all day long, <laughs> mate. What the fuck? Ah! She could even be singing 24-7. And I'd, I'd be just, like, yes, girl, yeah, yes. Yeah, I'll just get used to it. <laughs> Honestly, the little girl. No, no, and then, the, and then imagine, imagine, Vasca. Okay, your turn. Now do it. <laughs> Sing it again. How about that? Sa panahong ito, Katrina is one of the best Filipina vocalists. Yes, hands down. I'll go a bit further. I think she's actually one of the best technical technical singers in the world at the moment i would agree with like, that like uh te- te- technique wise and uh, uh yeah like it's just insane prowess she i makes would no say sense. yeah i would say she's one of the top like in the world it's probably like a top 30 like a top 40 something like that she's in there i um, 100%. it's just it's a shame because you know the industries they're not fair like uh there's industries that are bigger than others that you know uh, there are um, genres of music that are more popular than others um, and again the market sets the demand you're the fucking market so you set the demand and you know there's a reason why um, specific things get more consumed than others so but but, it, but it, she is 100% on, in terms of popularity of course it's like way more popular singers but in te- in terms of like technique technicalities and vocal prowess she is arguably better than some of the best pop vocalists that we have here in the West. Like, uh, you know, Arena Grande is an immense, great singer. Um, I don't think she has anything, Katrina has anything to envy her. Um, oh, no. Demi Lovato, I don't mm-hmm. think Katrina has anything to envy that. Uh, mm-hmm. Who else would be like another great part? Of, oh, Celine Jessie Dion. J. Jessie J. Well, in the modern era, because Celine Dion's bizarre, right? Because she's... Still, she's still kicking ass. Yeah, but she's like a living... Legend. Yeah, she's like immortalized, essentially. That woman could die and... She will forever be in It'll room. be like she's still alive. Yeah, that's true. Very nuts uh, what that what she's achieved. Okay, wh- what do you feel? What's your stand on Mariah Carey? Mariah. Oh, of course. Uh, Mariah yeah, Carey right. would be like arguably yeah, right. one of the best that the West has ever created. I agree. Um, but but again, I don't era, think yeah. Katrina has anything to envy I don't in that think aspect. Either. I think in terms of... they're on par. Like... Correct. If not, a little better. Because there are things well, She about... has youth on her side. Yeah, yeah, but in terms of like uh, vocal prowess and the the flexibility of the larynx, she's a vocal phenom, and yeah. I, I it, she's one of a kind in terms of like how she has able to manage and adapt through the different styles and different genres that I think specifically in pop modern day uh, vocalists that yeah, well, are that are for for the belters from, from an outsider perspective and obviously we've been involved uh, with the Filipino music industry now for like two three years now um, uh, going on to our fourth and what, the thing that the Philippines needs is not uh, more technical singers or not more, more vocal acrobats like there's there's a ton of them and, and you have some of the best already Maurice said uh, Katrina you have the the Bugoy the Daryls the Michaels Regina, um, so. yeah obviously Regine or of the previous generation, but of the current generation, the Stephanies, the Ella Nymphas, Juan Carlos, you have great vocalists. Um, what the sorry. Philippines needs in order to break through is like great original work from those uh, uh, incredible artists. And that's it. Um, Celine Dion, both technically, technically speaking, uh, the only reason why she became who she was is through the work that was given to her that she then sort of personalized. 
um, it wasn't because she could hit a G5 or a B5, 7th to the fucking floor in the top of a penthouse. Um, that's not what makes you, a, you know, top of an artist, at that top of that pile. What makes you top of that pile is uh, being able to do this and then being able to have a fucking insane amount and plethora of hits mm -hmm. and great music that you've, you know, you've made yourself or you've worked with composers to do. Um, so it, it's... That's literally the only the missing link, and that's why it's such an exciting time for the Philippines because you're getting to that position at the moment where the missing link it's beginning to be put together by the Sac de Butlos, by the Moira de la Torres, by the Juan Carlos, um, by the Arthur Neris. So the all, all that the Philippines needs at the moment is definitely time and more artists making their own fucking music. Yeah, I agree. And keep breeding this style of artist. But this will always be very popular amongst a specific crowd, the way you really break through that international scene, which everyone wants to do because everyone wins that way. Um, the US would love this. The UK would love this. The Europe would adore this. It's the Philippines crime. would love this. It's a crime that is not known globally. Like, yeah. I, I genuinely believe that's such a crime. Because if, if the original work starts to get pushed, obviously, through the social medias and stuff like that, which it is at the moment, um, the industry would also evolve, become modernized. They'll start to pick up things from other industries that do very well. Um, and there you go. And I mean, you're starting to get phenoms like that, you know, like SB19, another good example of utilizing different aspects of different industries, combining it, keeping your identity, keeping who you are and taking advantage of it at a global scale. Um, but in terms of technique and technical singers, yeah, like the Philippines no has question. some of the best singers in the planet at no the question. moment. Yeah. That's not the problem. That's if you're ever wondering, it's like, oh, how come, you know, this artist on don't have 50 million followers and don't have, you know, seven Grammys and all these other bollocks. Actually, don't count in Grammys, counting like streams and all this other stuff because <laughs> Grammys is his own other world. Um, it's, it's that that's the missing link. You know, it's more of an industry missing link rather than talent. Because the pool of talent, they, you it's genuinely, vast. yeah, it's you, vast. you know, yes. it's insane. But anyways, yeah, it's like Lessa Longa is a very good example of that. Correct, yeah, I you agree. know, it's like she's obviously very much from the Philippines, and uh, but she broke through the international scene because she was involved in original pieces that then people relate to this person. Mm -hmm. um, so, anyways, let us know your thoughts about it, and then what else should we check out next? And your thoughts and opinions—they're always welcome. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye.